right, folks, it's Jody with Spectrum Wisdom Tarot. Here to do May readings for all the zodiac signs. This reading is going to be for Libra. I just want to thank everyone who has liked, subscribed, shared my channel. You guys rock. Let's get into it. Let's see what's shaking with Libra. May 2023. Only they stay on the table. Hmm. We get the Eight of Cups. Walking away from a situation that's not emotionally fulfilling. Hmm. But the King of Cups. Could be a Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio involved. Or somebody who's water-like, water in their chart. Libra, you could be on the cusp of uh, Scorpio. Hmm. Now we have the Knight of Cups. Hmm. All water here. Leaves. Now we have the King of Pentacles. Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo energy. Hmm. We got the Two of Wands, but in reverse. That's about choosing a path. But in the reverse, it's being stuck on which way to go. And then you have the Knight of Swords, but in the reverse as well. So no communication or not communicating. This may be confusion of which way to go. Bottom of the deck, you have the Four of Pentacles. Again, staying silent. Interesting, leaves. Now remember, this could be the energy you're putting out there, the energy coming towards you, friendship, partnership, love, ship, career, however this applies, even family. But you're walking away from something that's not emotionally fulfilling. It's not cutting it, right? You're checking out. Now you could physically be in a place, but not emotionally involved. And that could be with a water-like person. Can't say Pisces, Scorpio, but this person's got a poker face. You know, they could be dying inside, but they never give you that satisfaction of knowing that. Like, you got to them. They come off even keel, very intuitive. And somebody here is making a gesture. Something from the heart. Now, this could be an apology. This could be, you know, being asked out. But it's not, it's not smoke and mirrors. You know, it's something that, you know, is very sentimental. Whether it is an apology or a suggestion. Then you have the King of Pentacles. Now here's that grounded earth energy. Possibly Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo. Or somebody earth-like. You know, they're practical and methodical. You know, they're realists. They see things for how it really is. They don't sugarcoat anything. <clears throat> Excuse me. It seems to me, Leaves, that if there's a decision between two, you just don't know which path to take. And I think that you're keeping this to yourself because you're not communicating, you know, to either one. You're staying silent. Or this could be somebody else's energy about you, Leaves. But definitely somebody here is looking for something more meaningful. Something more. Just more. Hmm. Find out what the Eight of Cups is all about here. The emotionally checking out. Now, these are my clarifying cards. I don't read them in reverse, but the sun would have came in reverse. So here's something positive. <clears throat> Naive girl. And the navigator. So, the navigator is charting a course. It could be a course to find happiness. Somebody might have been naive in believing that happiness could be found with maybe <clears throat> one of these people. Now, 
Now, Libra, it could be you that has that poker face, you know, it's not thinking that they have this decision to make. Or it could be someone that, you know, is hard to read by you, Leaves. You know, because they look unscathed, you know, calm, cool, collected. I find out what the King of Cups is, why it's here. Hmm. You get the ship, the travel card, King of Cups. Hmm. Key to the Book of Secrets. This is this a rendezvous? <laughs> and again, the navigator and the naive girl <clears throat> wanted to come out. So, Leaves, this could be somebody who's um, travels to come see you, but incognito. It could be a friend. Or some. But I do believe this person cares. You know, that they make these kind gestures that come from the heart. Hmm. That's interesting. King of Pentacles. Something was swept under the rug. <coughs> Excuse me. King of Pentacles. Whoa. Hmm. You got curiosity. You got the mountain, which is blocked. Then you get the burdens. So, this could be somebody who is maybe sweeping your feelings under the rug, how you feel. You know, maybe it's time and attention that you're looking for leaves, and this person is just, just heavily burdened with life. You know, the mountain is blocking someone. You know, that, that could even be hearing somebody out. Curiosity. And then sweeping on the rug. So this person is not taking someone seriously. They could be putting their... Their, uh... Problems ahead of themselves. You know, if it is, you know, heavy workload. Or... Just things in life in general. That this person seems to be attending to rather than you leaves. And it's tough because now you have somebody who does care about your feelings, how you feel, how they make you feel. Hmm. And that explains to which way do you go, not communicating this. You know, if somebody's not going to give you the time of day and somebody is willing to, it makes it tough, leaves. All I can tell you here is that you being the air sign, thinking something through, thinking all the way through, leaves. But whatever you do, you know, self-love and self-respect has to be the very number one thing here. And leaves, if you're not feeling that with anybody else and somebody is willing to give you the things that you need and want it's almost like you like you left no choice because everything is about the pursuit of happiness and your peace and I can't see you wasting any time with somebody who won't give you their time Whoa. So that is what I have for you. Please keep on liking, subscribing, sharing to my channel, and I'll see you back here real soon. Take care.